Um, so today we're going to be doing some push-up stuff. So we'll start by warming up. The very first thing we're going to do in our warm-up is the wacky jack. <laughs> when Jared programmed these last time, I was like, <laughs> why? So here's how it goes. One leg comes out to the side while your elbow comes down to that side and then to the other side. So it's like, you look kind of like a clown. We're going to do 16 of those. Yes, you look amazing doing this. Let's do like three more. Good. And then we're going to walk out to some inchworms. So walk all the way down. These are not inchworm press ups. So you're just going to walk out to a, a plank and then walk back. And we'll do five. shoulder tap. So you're going to sprawl back, tap, tap, come in, pop at the top five times. Nice. Okay. Two more times through. So 16 wacky jacks, five inchworm, five sprawl to shoulder tap. <laughs> there we go. I got to start it slow. Do I look at the party clown? Five inchworms. Yes, amazing. Those wacky jacks are kind of fun.
All right. So we're going to do some straight stuff today. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is push up. So if you want to do this elevated to your knees, to the floor, it's up to you. If you have a weight and you want to do something weighted instead of the push up, you can do a tall kneeling heartbeat press. And that just means it starts here and presses straight out like that. Depending on your weight that you have, um, you could do anywhere between like 10 and 20 reps to equal the same feeling as push up. But otherwise, we'll be doing push ups. So either the tall kneeling heartbeat press, or you can do 10 push ups. So let's get started with that right away. Set up for yourself wherever you want to be and do 10 push ups to start. So the next thing we're going to do is bench dips. So if you have a chair handy or a bench or anything like that, you're going to come to the edge. Make sure that you have it's sturdy. Come to the edge. The further your feet are out, the harder this is going to be. The more tucked in they are, the more support you'll have. And you're going to come all the way down as far as you can and press straight back up. And we'll do 10. do a few extra. You want it to be a difficult set. Good. Nice. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do on this strength set, I'm going to get close so you can see me. You're going to put your hands together and then we're going to push together for 30 seconds. So push your hands together. It's an isometric chest squeeze. So it should feel like your pecs are squeezing super hard to do this push. Whew. 10 seconds down. We're going to go for 30. Try not to shrug up into your ears. Keep your shoulders down. There you go. Just the chest. 10 more seconds. Push hard. Two, one, relax. Okay, we'll rest for this 30 and then we'll do that again. So we're gonna do four more rounds just like that. 10 push ups, 10 dips, 30 second chest press. All right, we'll move together this round in 10. You're all gonna be at a different pace with those push ups. So I'll just call for the start. We'll do 10 reps. In three, two, one. Ten push ups. Nice. Find your way over to your bench and we'll do ten dips. Do that. 
your shoulders are ripped. <laughs> Nice. Keep squeezing. Two, one, rest. Let's do a full minute rest. It's a lot of pushing. And then we'll do three more rounds, just like that. Yeah, you got ahead of yourself, Todd. I gave us a little more rest. <clears throat> job. seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, nice. All right, we'll go again at six minutes and we have two more rounds. triceps.
Two more seconds. Three, two, one. Whew, rest, nice. Okay, we'll go again at 8.30 for our last round. seconds and rest the remaining time. There's three things we're going to do. Minute one, we'll do burpees. Minute two, we'll do bear crawl. And then minute three, we'll do walking lunges. So I won't make you prove to me that you know how to do a burpee. I'll just remind you, you can always do step back burpees, step in burpees. You can even do elevated burpees. I might not walk down, so I do a great kick back and then come down to an elevated surface. Um, the second one is bear crawl. So depending on how much space you have, you're going to do a forward and back bear crawl. Like I have a little bit of space here. So forward and back for 30 seconds. If you don't have space for that, I would recommend doing uh, uh, alternating toe tap. Even if you want to just do that instead of the bear crawl, that's fine too. So the alternating toe tap is another version. That's minute two. And then minute three is walking lunges. Obviously, again, if you have space, you can actually go for a walk with these. If you don't have space, you can do either forward lunges or you can do reverse lunges. Whatever one's good for you. And um, if you have a weight, that's a great thing to add a weight to. And uh, yeah, you could also add a weight to the burpees if you wanted to do weighted burpees. That's a possible, that's a real thing. It's a possibility. <laughs> you can do that. Come down to the bottom and then up at the top. You just don't jump with the weight on the edge. That'd be cool though. We could do that too. <laughs> so those are your options. 
Your goal is to go, because of the way it's set up, 30 on, 30 off, your goal is to go really hard for 30 seconds, fully recover for 30. Chicken! Oh my gosh, that's, what's that chicken's name? Winter Boots. Oh my God, Winter Boots. I want to be in their family. <laughs> And we have a roost. Can I come live over there? We just read books and look at chickens all day. Okay. All right, we should work out. Now we gotta work out, okay? We're distracted. So, like I said, go hard for the time that you're working. Rest hard for the time that you're recovering. That means we're working half the time, so it's only six minutes of work. That's a sprint workout. Got it? Okay. Yeah. You're like, we heard you, coach. Work hard. We got it. We'll do our best. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give Todd a second to tie his shoes. You ready? Jazz hands if you're ready. Okay. Starting at 10. We're going hard on these burpees. In two, one. Let's go. to make that bear crawl harder and you had a weight, you can move the weight with you on the crawl. That's just an option. All right, walking lunges is next. If you have a weight, go ahead and grab it if you'd like to add it. Otherwise, just go fast. In two, one, let's go. The weight. We'll go up with the front rack. So hold the weight up in your shoulders. There you go. Woo! Yes, Cora. Go a little faster. And rest. All right, now we know how it feels. I'm gonna do it three more times. Or, er, yes, three more times. <laughs>
Nice job. All right. If you want to add that weight to the bear crawl, you're just going to move it with you every time you walk. So drag them along the floor. So I'll show you quick. Just like that. Okay. Let's go. Nice job. Woo. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. seconds. And rest. All right, we're halfway. We got two more rounds. do those alternating toe taps with the weight. You just bring the weight back towards your toe each time. So that's another option. And three, two, one, let's go. about dragging that kettlebell. I couldn't hear. <laughs> I'll scream. In three, two, one, lunge! It. 
Last round of burpees coming up. That's where we really ignite the fire. All right, get wound up, get excited. Last round of burpees, let's shoot for 10. Let's go crazy. It's a lot, in three, two, one, let's go. Show me on your fingers. Oh, nice. Good job. Shooting for 10 made you get more, though. <sighs> All right, our last round of bear call, alternating toe tabs in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> nice job. I like these two giving high fives. I'm just gonna give a high five to myself. Jana, high five to you. Boom. <laughs> Beth and Cora, double high five. Boom. <laughs> Let's get down. We'll do a little bound angle, so feet together. Take a breath in, chest comes up. And then exhale, try to bring your belly button towards your feet first. Then you can pull yourself down. And while you're here, you can like flap your wings. You can rock side to side if you'd like. You can also do a little book openers with your feet. Open your feet like you're reading, which we all like to do. <laughs> 